Hello there guys and welcome to the daily updates. Compliments of the new year. I hope everyone entered 2022 gracefully. Well, for the media, um, it looks like we started on gear number five because South Africa being South Africa, there will always be controversy. This time it was shocking to find out that uh, the, a whole parliament, a whole parliament in Cape Town was banned. Like they have a picture there of a homeless person uh, sleeping there and then they say, this is the accused. Oh my God. Like, this is the accused. Well, I mean, he could hide himself and come out as homeless while he's not. And also, we, it's like we don't even know what's going on in South Africa. Now he's been referred to uh, the hospital for 30 days just to evaluate whether this guy is delusional or what. But hopefully they come up out with the uh, answers that is going to solve this mystery. The whole parliament being banned, not in short. Now, taxpayers are going to fork out the money and pay all these damages. I mean, it, it's a problem in South Africa. We don't even know where to run. Maybe we should all run to Zimbabwe and improve it, you know. I don't know. Nagangwa is not going to allow any South Africans there. Anyway, um, Lindy Wasisulu, Judge Raymond Zondo, Ronald Lamola, it's all a war there. Everyone is fighting. It's like inside the movement. Lamola and Lindy Wesisulu back and forth. Letters are being sent out and then responses are coming. You can understand that ANC is just, is dying. Every piece, like they are just taking every chunk of a piece from ANC. All these smaller, all these smaller things that is happening. People will not realize that it's killing ANC bit by bit. And there is a leader. He's doing nothing about it. I mean... Ramaphosa, my man. Oh, my God. Okay, Ramaphosa came out with this um, tweet. Today be Monday. Responding to uh, the whole Lindue Sisulu and uh, Ronald Lamola. This task of all that they have. He responded saying, We need to protect our constitution, our democratic state and the electoral pro uh, process from Anyone who wants to weaken our democracy and deny the South African people of their hard-won freedom. I mean, even a blind person can see this one is directed at Lindiwe. Okay. Then, as if, uh, we, as if out of the blue that we are not expecting something like this, here comes uh, the EFF Naledi Chirwa responding to Ramaphosa, these utterances by Ramaphosa. She comes out, gun blazing, she says... You are such a little, you are such a weak little boy. This is directed to Ramaphosa, a whole president. You are such a weak little boy. All your fellow stooges you sent to collapse Lindy Way were collapsed themselves. It won't be surprising if you do what, lit, what little boys do when overpowered by women. From my experience, they all run, run to their mothers and cry. Uh, throw the tantrum, we're expecting it. You'll forever remain a toothless boy. Oh my God. Mfana ki mfana. That, that's directed to the whole president. They're saying, mfana ki mfana. A small boy will always remain a small boy. A weak little boy. Damn. I read this and was like, what the heck is going on? I mean, yeah, Ramaphosa is he's not doing anything that he promised. He's not showing all this power that he said he has, or maybe he was talking about sending people to do his work. I understand he's not a good person in terms of that. He's a failure, if we put it in just uh, simple words. He's a failure to what he promised us. But damn, now lady, you didn't have to go like that. I mean, the disrespect is like a diss song. I mean, you just need the beats and then it's going to be a, 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 a strange this this song by the way because mfana ki mfana my god but then you can't be surprised because that's that's the EFF EFF doesn't doesn't go with a soft attitude when solving problems especially if it involves the government they are not there to feed anyone Malema said we are we, we don't have any multivalor to feed you so here is Naledi coming Kind of blazing. And then, of course, there will be people who respond, who have their views to what Naledi had to say. 
Um, I've got this uh, tweet by Suare Longwenya responding to what Naledi has said. He says, I bet you wouldn't speak like that to the president of Malawi. Um, Naledi Chiro has roots in Malawi. So they are saying, if you were in Malawi, you wouldn't speak like that of the president. We know Malawi don't play. They would have dealt with her a long time ago. And then under that, uh, Yenza says uh, they call it freedom of speech. A colored lady called black judges Negroes and they see nothing wrong with it. Now here is Naledi calling our president boy. I guess the freedom to insult is also embedded in our constitution. I say blame that bullshit called Codessa. Uh, Monday Jasper says, is this what EFF is teaching in terms of respect for the elders? Yeah. And then the page two of these comments, uh, I think it's time you go back home, meaning Malawi. And then Nkange says she's at home. Silo Baloi says we need to protect the same constitution that made us landless, excluded us out from economic activity, the same constitution that failed Marikana widows, the same constitution that failed life as it many victims. This Cordesa settlement constitution should be challenged. I said it before. And then lastly, uh, there's one that says, I'm sure you have the same attitude to your, to your father. If not, then please delete this nonsense. Kucho says, if my father is like Ramaphosa, please don't respect him. I mean, no one respect Ramaphosa. No, I mean, ordinary citizens. He has lost all the respect from everyone. Who would blame the people because if the president is supposed to do something and then he's not doing it, obviously negative, negative comments are going to come his way. He has to have a thick skin or just go to the podium like Zuma did and just say, I'll just throw in the towel. I can't take it no more, fellow South Africans. I resign. Uh, here's another one that says, President Ramaphosa has weaknesses, yes. But you cannot speak like that. That level of disrespect is absolutely unnecessary. Zaza lastly says, I don't think he is, he is weak. There are certain things that a president cannot, cannot do and say, especially in South Africa, because one mistake, then you will be arrested for, for violating the citizens' rights. And remember that he cannot do things without the permission of the cabinet members. With all that said, um... The only thing to say about the whole mess is that Ramaphosa has failed and it doesn't look like he's going to change anything. And another thing we get from that, uh, the EFF and the leaders, they don't give a damn about nursing anyone's feelings. They call a spade a spade. But this one, this part here, it was so unnecessary. I don't think it was supposed to be said this way. Come on, especially the last word and the last sentence and the first one. You are such a little boy and fana gum fana. It was not supposed to be said like that, but well, they are our leaders anyway. Leaders do what leaders do in South, I guess. And the fellow South Africans like me, we are not even impressed with what Ramaphosa is doing. And the only hope we have is to change come elections. 2024 is so far, we're probably going to be paying 30 rand per litre for petrol and diesel if nothing is done uh, with these people of ANC, these leaders who are now fighting each other. <sighs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll do another video. Cheers.